Standard entropy calculations are relatively simple when you use this particular equation. So anytime you have a change value, you're going to see this delta sign. And in this case, since we're looking for entropy, whose symbol is S, we're going to be looking for the change in entropy. And this not symbol right here, this degree sign, actually represents standard conditions, which are one atmosphere and 25 degrees of temperature. So the sigma simply means that we're taking the sum or summation of all of the entropy values of our products here, and we're subtracting that from the sum of the entropy values of all of our reactants, so that we have all the, at the, the products entropies added, as well as all the reactants entropies added together, and we take the difference of the two. So summation from sigma. Now you notice the m here and the n here and those represent the number of moles because when you are given the entropy values in a particular problem or if you are given um, a reference table or let's say uh, you look up the values in the appendices of the textbook you will find entropy values um, that are in joules per mole so that's per one mole of the compound and if you have more than one mole uh, meaning if your coefficients in your equation are more than one, you need to multiply that value from the table by that coefficient so that you have the total entropy for the total amount of that compound in the reaction. So M and N, very important values. And last of all, again, the delta S or entropy values will be in units of joules per mole and you will most likely encounter other energy values in kilojoules. So it's important to note how entropy here is in joules because if you are going to be using other energy values along with entropy in the same calculation, you wanna make sure or ensure that you have uh, all the same unit. So we are using joules here and if you should have to use kilojoules elsewhere, you may need to convert one or the other. So let's take a look at an example here where we calculate the standard entropy of formation for the following reaction. This is the combustion of propane, where propane C3H8 reacts with five moles of oxygen to yield three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water. And this is of course an exothermic reaction where heat of course is generated. And what we're determining here, however, is the change in the entropy. And we're definitely gonna have an increase in entropy here, entropy here. Um, in that you have some of this propane in gas form and some of this um, oxygen in gas form, it's going to then yield some gas and some liquid. So the gas is being turned into a liquid and that does change the entropy. So let's take a look and see exactly what the entropy value will be. So we have delta S of course, which is what we're seeking to find. And that is going to, first of all, ask us to find the sum of all of our products. So we have three CO2s and four H2Os. So four H2Os is four times 69.9. And we have three carbon dioxides, and that is therefore three times 213.6. And that should then give us the total sum of our products. So again, don't forget to multiply these values by the coefficients because that tells you the N value, that is the number of moles. Okay, we're gonna subtract from that the sum of all of our reactants. We have one propane and five waters, so, or, or five oxygens. So five oxygens, that's five times 205. And we add to that the one value, one times 269.9 for the propane. All right, so let's see what we get here. All right, we've got four times 69.9, which is 279.6. Plus three times two, 13.6 is 640.8. That's the sum of our products minus the sum of our reactants. Five times 205 is 1025 
plus 1, of course, times 269 is 269.9. And we take then the difference here. The sum of all of our products is 920.4. The sum of all of our reactants is 1294.9. And when we finally take the difference of that, delta S will equal a negative 374.5 value. And of course, we know that entropy is always in joule units, and we've accounted for the moles. So the delta S standard, or the standard entropy of this reaction is negative 374.5 joules, which means that this entropy has decreased, which it certainly has, going from several gas moles, six gas moles altogether, to three gas moles. That's definitely a decrease in gas, and gas we know is very high in disorder or entropy. So a decrease in the gas moles and conversion of gas to a liquid, liquids have less entropy, is definitely going to confirm that we have decreased the entropy of the system and this numerical value simply confirms it.